Hello everybody, welcome to Pralines, deliciousness from the world of art. The so-called contemporary art often distinguishes itself for its provocative and scandalous aspects. But there are artists that prefer to adopt a more quiet and reflective attitude to express themselves. Among them is Ivano Sosel, born in 1963 in Chinoa. He gets a degree in arts with a thesis on on fluxus and the idea of love in art. Then, under the influence of art and formal, he creates artworks utilizing the soil of Liguria. He further confronts himself with the Arte Povera movement that holds a key position at the beginning of the 80s. What's more, the reflection on rational and religious thinking proves a fundamental to Ivano Sosella. This reflection in Western Europe gives rise to what we commonly define as art. Through his works, he tries to answer the questions when does the event called art happen? When do we have the conditions to let art manifest itself? His answer is that artists are always inclined to make paintings. And according to Ivano Sosella, making paintings means transforming something real into to something true. In order to make out this concept, let's take an example from literature. Just imagine the poet George Byron back from a walk writes to his friend, I've seen a beautiful woman with black hair. This is real. But then Byron takes another piece of paper and writes, She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies. This is true. The artistic form, so to speak, has the potentiality to transform a daily reality into something immortal, into something that remains attractive with the passing of time. After all, though the artists of the present day have got many more expressive means than those of the past, their mission hasn't changed at all. They have to give to spectators the opportunity to participate in an art event. With this idea in mind, Ivano Sosella begins to realize performances. For example, he exposes a basin where water is moved by the air of an electric fan. This operation is labeled art since it is enclosed in a frame. Afterwards, Ivano Sosella produces artworks using radio sets and hair dryers. The noise of the latter interferes with radio waves, which results in a newly transmitted noise. His words are getting more and more cerebral in the footsteps of a movement called neoconceptualism that included, among others, Luca Vitone, Cesare Viel, Tommaso Tozzi. In 1992, he takes part in Documenta in Castle. In 1993, Achille Bonito Oliva invites him to the Aperto section of the Venice Biennial. His success has taken him to make exhibitions abroad, especially in France and in Germany. So Sella's recent series have dealt with the idea of absence, one of the prevailing concepts of aestheticism of the past century. To understand this concept, it's important to consider the fact that artists, especially those of the past decades, have made experiences of all kinds in view of explaining the phenomenon called art. From a certain viewpoint, therefore, art is the aim we want to attain. But art seems to evade all our attempts to define it. Ivano Sosella tries to highlight this idea by getting rid of all the elements that are commonly identified with art. For example, he realizes artworks in which protagonists approach works that in reality don't exist. We can perceive their existence only thanks to our psychological faculties. The work 
work I'm presenting you belongs to the last series named Der Geist. That means spirit phantasm. On a 100 per 100 centimeter canvas was a standing wallpaper representing a house wall. On this canvas, we see two hooks used normally to hang paintings. Moreover, we see two rectangular borders perceived only thanks to the different color gradations of the wallpaper. As in case, we remove paintings from the walls where they remain for a long time. The mental process at first is complicated. Art, the painting on the wall is absent. But at the same time, we can perceive a stress on the canvas, which is in turn a painting as we define it. In short, Ivano Sosel invites us to follow him in a world where a Apparently, nothing happens, by which I mean the manifestation of art, something that impresses all the characteristics of miracles. I stop here. Thank you for listening. Don't miss the next episode of Proline's Deliciousness from the World of Art.